Mr. Chandra is founder and president of Madras Dyslexia Association, known as MDA, as well as the man who founded multiple intelligences foundation and their center, Hydra, where they help children with dyslexia discover their hidden potential. As a graduate of IIT Madras and a recipient of the Distinguished Alumnus Award in 2009 for his contribution to entrepreneurship and other walks of life, Mr. Chandra is also involved in a number of community initiatives. He recently conferred the Mrs. YGP Educationist Award. Co-presenting, oh, Ms. Lata is not here today, but she has taken up different roles at the Madras Dyslexia Association and was instrumental in making individualized education plans for children. Let us put our hands together for Mr. Chandra. A very good morning to all of you. Thank you for being with me today. You know, the keynote, right from the keynote address, the theme for this conference is how to take care of the underprivileged if they have dyslexia. This is something that has been engaging our mind for quite some time. And we have made certain initiatives, which I thought we'll share with you. These are baby steps. It's a long way to go. But we thought we will show you some of the initiatives. Basically, special education is expensive because the child has to go to a special educator. Commuting is there. The, the cost of the special educator. And then if you are going to run it as a special school, then it becomes the cost of the premises. All this put together makes it quite unaffordable for those who can't afford education at all. So I will show you the state of affairs in Tamil Nadu, which is where from we are, Madras is there was the capital, now called Chennai. So I will run through our experiences. Please stay with me. Where is that? No, I'm just looking for that. Thank you. How do you do this? Yeah. OK, so this we don't have to worry about. All of us know about it. But the point is, if the remediation, and we have to do early remediation, because the unremediated children eventually become social delinquents. This is a big issue. So this is what, it's not only empowering the child, but also preventing the community from having the side effects of this child when it grows up without remediation. Yes. So the way forward, it's, it's to remediate these children early in their life and channelize their productivity to the benefit of the community. Now, to do this, to make the child go to a special education school, it becomes a difficult. So the best and the inexpensive solution is to remediate the child right in the classroom. That is what we are trying to do. See, this is a large country, 4,000 kilometers from south to north and about 3,000 from west to east. So we are here in Tamil Nadu. That is the state I am talking of. Next. Our state itself is 600 kilometers end to end, has a population of 70 millions, and has 33 districts. And the language spoken there is Tamil. So now, next. So in our state, there are 58,000 so many schools, 12 million children. And about 2 million children are suspected to be dyslexic. So please understand, about 75% of them are studying in government schools because they can't afford education. So there's no question of they're able to afford special education. So this is the state. So, so what are the challenges? OK, we want to do this for these people. Now, they're, 
there are not sufficient special educators. How many people are available to go and do this to 574,000? Then they are located all over. You saw, I show you 600 kilometers end to end of the state. And not all of them have easy approach. Some of them are connected by air. Very few cities are connected by air. Lot of the cities are connected by train. And most of the cities, other towns are only by bus. So logistics is a big issue. Then the infrastructure is not good. Like if you want to go to a village and do a PowerPoint, then they may not have power. If you want internet, they may not have internet. And then the cost of all this. So we have put all these together and come up with a few solutions. We'll show you the solution. So empowering the class teacher, wherever she is, going and empowering the class teacher in her place is the solution that we have found. We have taken a few strategies. We will show you next. One is providing them a six-day training. This six-day training includes explaining to them what is dyslexia, then provide them a checklist. Using the checklist, they'll be easily able to identify the dyslexic children, teach them the use of the checklist, then give them training modules in reading, writing, maths, spelling, executive functions, and also talk to them about multiple intelligences. This we do. Last year, we have done about 120 programs traveling all over. And we have a dedicated team of about 50 trainers who travel all over and have done 120 programs. We have covered about 6,000 teachers, assuming each teacher can touch about 10 children, impact 10 children. We have impacted about 60,000 children in the last one year. Next. Now, the other challenge there is Tamil is a medium of instruction in number of schools, at least 30, 35%. So for them, we have developed intervention techniques in Tamil language. So that helps. Next. With all that, that is our impact, 1% we have done. We have hardly scratched the surface. So now we are going for the next round of interventions. We want to now come up with a master training program where we take block resources and give them a master training. So it is about a 15-day program where we also teach them the soft skills of how to take this to the teacher. So we hope to train about 500 people, give them master training, and if they go and each do 10 programs for 50 people, that can cover a larger distance. Our master training program is almost ready, should be ready for use for about a month or two from now. Next. So that will go up to, we hope to cover this much. Still, it won't be adequate. So our next point is this. We have put this six-day training program in a 25-hour capsule into the digital platform. So right now, it is sitting on a digital platform on a program under National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning that's available with my alma mater, IIT Madras. So this is available free of cost for anyone to approach, access. So all you have to do is to come to our website and then click and then you are connected to this. So this offers free training for all teachers, wherever they are, with the, and using the state of the art, whatever system that all of you are using. Uh, Harini, could you tell me what is the system? Art and Gillingham system that uh, uh, all of you may be using. This is what we have offered. So our first two batches have uh, come. Uh, a batch runs for about six weeks. So far, we have had 500 people coming to us for this. Next. These are the various uh, components of our, we call that e shikshanam. We, these are the components. Next. Now, in order to engage with all these people who may be coming online, we have created a CRM platform where they can have all their questions answered by us. And then at the end of this, there is an optional examination 
for a fee of about 600 rupees, which is equivalent to about 10, 12 dollars, Singapore dollars. Where we have a bank of questions from where we will give a theoretical exam. We have about 15 to 20 case studies, animation films, from where you will be asked questions on case studies. You will have to do both. So that is optional. But Now, apart from all this, we, also we are going to continue our in-class training from our uh, uh, training room itself. So we have developed a webcast facility. So all we have to do is we don't have to send our trainer to difficult places. We don't have, they don't have to come here. We just send a technician I put a, to put a receiver at the other end. So we can do the training from our place itself. That facility we have created. Then there are certain upscale schools, you know, they can afford. So we request them to employ two people, two teachers exclusively for special education. We train those two teachers and then we help them to set up a resource room in the school that takes care of the dyslexic children in the school. We go and do monitoring. Originally, we were doing physically visiting and doing monitoring. Now we are slowly introducing telemonitoring because we have over 60 schools with us on, in this program. This is an app that we have developed for English reading. Yesterday it was presented, so I didn't want to spend much time. But we are, going to, we are trying to make these apps available free to the government school teachers by getting some corporate support. Otherwise, it just costs about 12 Singapore dollars per year of use. So now the future that we are looking at is once we complete the primary and once we launch our Tamil program also into the digital platform, we are coming up with a program for the pre-primary, a similar program and also a program for the secondary age group of 10 and 14, what we call as effective learning program. We are getting ready with that. We will maybe do about a year of in-class training of these two programs. After we have perfected, they will also go on to the digital platform. So our whole dream is we should be able to remediate a dyslexic child wherever the child is at a cost of less than one dollar. That's our aim. We are moving towards that. If you have any questions, I'll answer you. Thank you very much. <laughs>